ask you, having a confederation, um, what is that, what is the confederation going to give it? What is that having that government above going to help? First of all, it elevates the status of the Palestinians because now they are able to have equal veto power mm -hmm. as the government of Israel, as the Knesset of Israel. So it, okay, that's an important thing. That, that could be the whole answer, that is that they have veto power. But the problem is that the government of Israel can veto anything that the government on top wants to give. Okay, well that's the point. That's, a, that's exactly the point. Can the government of Israel veto anything? Okay. That's the issue. All right, let's go okay, there. Let's okay, let's go there. And the answer is no. I don't think, if uh -huh. we elect a very charismatic president, and vice president. That's his job. That's his job to go and negotiate with the Israelis and the Palestinian governments and say, this issue here is not going to affect your security. It's not going to affect the Jewish state. It's not going to affect anything. It's going to, the only thing it's going to improve human rights. Mm -hmm. And if you dare to veto this reasonable legislation, Guess what? I'm going to go and tell on you to the whole world that you are an unreasonable person. Mm -hmm. So if we have it, the whole issue of whether a confederation of this can be successful is how much support it has within the Israeli and the Palestinian mm -hmm. people. Mm 